Hi, in this tutorial we are going to make a simple electrode. Now electrodes are quite useful in sensors and homemade sensors such as um, capacitive sensors which we'll tackle and um, force sensing resistors, homemade uh, FSRs as well. So let's get to it. It's a fairly straightforward thing. I'm using some copper tape and you can get copper tape like this, uh, you know, from your electronic shop or um, I guess craft stores as well. I've seen it in hardware stores. I think they're used for getting rid of, um, in the garden department, getting rid of snails and such. Um, now, one of one nice thing, it, it, it can be a little bit more uh, expensive, but there is copper tape that I think usually come from electronic shops that has conductive uh, um, adhesive on the back. This one doesn't. It has uh, so if I try to stick a wire on the back of this, the adhesive side, it will not conduct through. But you can buy, the, it's maybe worth the extra price, conductive adhesive, and then you don't have to solder. But in this case, I'm going to create an um, uh, electrode by soldering a wire onto it. So let's get started with the wire. Uh, some real basic things is we're going to strip the wire, and then we're going to tin the wire, uh, basically coat it with solder. So let me get a little strip there, and then maybe I'll twist up those ends there okay and then do the other end as well grab a little bit there like that this nice stripper and then twist those ends as well okay I'm gonna bring in here my third hand helper and then just place um, one of the wires forward like that. Okay, so I can nicely tin tin the wire. Cut in, in other words, coat it with some solder. Okay, so I'm going to take my nice hot soldering iron. I'm going to clean it. In other words, just melt a little bit of solder onto it, and then clean it over here on a sponge or a scour, so that it's nice and coated with solder. It's nice and shiny. You can probably do a little bit more. Let's coat it with some solder and then scrub it a little bit so it's nice and shiny. Okay, and then I'm going to just melt a tiny bit of solder onto there. So I have a contact point, nice heat contact point. And then I will, oops, let's see, move that back a little bit. I will melt solder. So I'm going to heat it from the, the bottom and sort of put the solder on top of it. Very quickly do that. Oops, a little extra there. A nice tinned wire there. It'll keep all those strands together. Okay. The other side of the wire, I'm just going to try to get a nice close-up shot there. See if I can do that. And again, cleaning my soldering iron. Melt a bit of solder on there. All sides there. And then scrape it off. So a nice clean solder ring iron. And just put a little dab there. Solder onto the iron. Okay. And if I can grab from the bottom here, I'm just going to touch that melted solder onto the bot from the from the bottom of the wire and heat the wire up and then from the top I'll put the solder on top of it and it just takes probably less than a second or maybe a second or two but you don't want to keep the solder on there for very long there it goes and a nice tinned wire there so it's the strands are held together it's a stranded wire held together nicely with solder and then I have solder to be melted onto the contact Okay, so I have a nice tin wire on both sides there. Two nicely tinned sides of wire. Ooh, okay, great. Now my tape. So let me grab my tape here and I'll just cut a little piece off with some scissors. So one side is adhesive, and the other side is just copper. So I'll make about that big. Uh. 
And I am going to now just melt a little dab of solder onto the contact itself, onto the copper tape. I'm working on this plastic table. It's probably not ideal, but um, you can get yourself a solder mat or you know a surface to work on. It's kind of an old ratty table anyway, so we'll just go ahead and deal with that. Um, I seem to have lost my solder here. Uh, well, we'll cut a little bit more here for us. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat the surface. I'm going to clean my soldering iron again. So there's a in the core there's a little bit of the solder has a resin core I guess no expert actually but I believe that's to be the case and then there's um, some acid in there which cleans the solder so that's why I keep sort of washing it with the solder okay so I'm gonna put again and put a little dab of solder onto the tip of my iron get that dab side down because it's really the <coughs> solder itself that conducts the heat and I'm gonna press it down onto the thing heat the um, the material, heat the copper, and as I'm heating the copper, melt the solder onto the copper. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then melt it there, so it sort of dabs onto there. So I have a nice little dab of solder that's nicely melted onto the copper tape. And you see that just takes kind of a fraction of a second, really. <coughs> okay, now for the, the final bit, I'm going to clean my iron again. And I'm going to melt a little bit of solder, maybe a little bit more than I would have before, because I'm not going to use my soldering. Since I have a tinned wire and I have a dab of solder, I'm going to take the little tip of solder that I have sitting on the edge of my soldering iron, and I'm just going to melt that solder and then stick the wire in and let it harden. And there you go. Okay. So a nice electrode, a nice conductive um, piece. Now I have a nice electrode, so a conductive material here, copper, it's adhesive on the back, and I can, um, I have a tinned end there, so I can plug it right into my breadboard or some such thing. All right, well, there you go, pretty straightforward, and good luck with making some electrodes. I'm sure after you do a few of them, uh, it'll become quite quick.